Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky, where the storm is gone, I've gone out and mined up a crap ton of carbon. I'm going to put a wooden door there, put walls, new signal acquired, and then we need a roof. That was not where I meant to put those. Oops. Get rid of those. Alright, now that's nowhere near high enough for an actual base. Um, if I ever build like a... Like one of the... Um, the... Uh... I've completely forgotten what they're called now. But yeah, they're a thing. Anyway, accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Begin searching. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Yay! Expand your base by earning new construction blueprints. Take up fairy technology, power your base to enable advanced technology, and use teleporters to instantly return to your base during your travels. Teleporters! That's new. That is a thing that was not a thing before that I know of. So, portable tech, we'll place down the portable refiner. So we need to power that. I've got some pure ferrite, but not a lot. Oh boy. I mean, at least it can process all that at once. Let's just go ahead and do that. We'll just get all the pure ferrite because we are going to need it eventually. So, I don't remember how much magnetized ferrite we need right now. But I know that we're going to need a lot of pure ferrite anyway, so. But it is nice that it doesn't seem like it has the 250 um, item limit anymore for the refiner. That's very handy actually. Um, what do I need now? I need 20 and a carbon nanotube. Okay, the carbon nanotube I can make. And I will just make 20. Because I definitely want pure ferrite if I can. Tech. Blueprint Constructor. Construction Research Unit. Anal analysis Unit Online. Diagnostic Suggestion. Users should recover salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. Research Buildable Technology. Aw, yeah. Here's the new UI. This is cool. So I saw this when I was on my older file. I saw that there's all kinds of new tech you can get and there's a whole new UI here that you can do. And I think this is fantastic. I seriously love this. So um, I do want to get the base teleport module. Yay, base teleport module. I need metal plating. Oh, wow, that's new. That's a completely different recipe than before. A biofuel reactor and a save beacon. All power generation. Burns carbon-based fuel, placed in its furnace tank, converts it to usable power. Interesting. Um... Do I need power for this? 
That's a real question. She was urged to verify network integrity before inserting any matter that cannot afford to become separate from. Hmm. All right. So what would I need for that? That would be in general. Cool. Um, I mean, that's the same thing it was. For metal plating, I can't even make one. And two carbon nanotubes. So I need to collect a lot of regular ferrite. Or... I can open this up, and I can stick all this rusted metal in and just start doing that. Because <laughs> that's a lot of rusted metal, and that's a lot of ferrite dust in turn. So I'm going to need four metal plates, so I'm going to need 200 of this ferrite dust, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, well, while that's running, it wants me to go over here. Oh, hi! Oh no, these are all the same creature. Okay. It's like, you can rename your base. Oh, that's cool. and upload my base as the Rokini base. Assuming it lets me. I notice that it has completely frozen the game. <laughs> so that's not the greatest. Hello? It has completely frozen. That's so odd. All right, then. Um, there seems to be an issue here, and that, uh, the game is still running, and it thinks that it's exited out of that screen, but the entire thing has completely frozen. <sighs> I don't know when the last time it saved is either. And I don't know how to get out of it now. Oops. All right. One moment while we try to reload. I hope that it did a save or something right after or right before or something it crashed. Um, it's the hope, but I don't know if it will have. So I have no idea how far back that put us. Let's find out. Uh, last save was... Not too long ago, actually. Okay, only about a minute. No Man's Sky. Yes, uh, hello games. Um, I'd like to report a bug. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sure they're working on it. For certain. I'm sure that bug has already been reported by a number of people. I'm sure that they are working on fixing it. All right. And to gather for your ferrite dust. Go ahead and do that. Now we need to craft the metal plating. Two, three, four. 
And now, I already have the carbon nanotubes. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. So then, we construct, wow, I can put this anywhere? I'm not required to put it directly in the center of anything anymore? Neat. Insufficient power. All right then. State desired research path. I guess we'll get this biofuel reactor, small power generator, and maybe electrical wiring. Because I guess we're going to need those. <laughs> Um, this is the signal booster and the save beacon. I'll get those in a minute. All right, power. So that's a new thing. Just need another metal plating, which shouldn't be hard to make. So power. That's something new. Furnace empty. Biofuel reactor. Fuel depleted. Let's stick in some condensed carbon. And then... Electrical wiring, I guess. Connect that to there. Yay! Neat. Explore the planet and expand your base. Objective complete. Explore the planet and expand your base. Oop, base computer log updated. Cool. Rockini Rakini base. Additional archives recovered. 4925F follows. Scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station. Warning! End of archive. Records interrupted. Base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there's nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and head to the space station. Alrighty. Let me just activate this base terminus here. Surely so that we are certain that that is powered and I have connected to it and let's investigate the space station off we go out of the planet and let's pulse jump right over to the space station Wee four three two one and there's the space station. Space station proximity. Pulse engine unavailable. Wee All right. My life form to ask about the mysterious signal. So I think this is pretty cool. They've done some major upgrades to the space station. Um, I mean, it's probably going to look a lot the same at first. Um, one thing I've noticed is that they have these doors now, which is cool. Assistant Orm. Uh, I'm my next friend. Get Tool maker Joel, blah blah blah. The alien squeals as I approach. Seem excited to see me, though I cannot understand their babbling tongue. Perhaps they would recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Ask about 16. A look of surprise crosses the life form's face, and they release a strange smelling glass. This appears to signify our conversation is over.
Ah, here we go. Ooh, got some carbon. Hey, look! You can sit now! Neat. Like, that is... You wouldn't think that was a huge... That would be a huge deal, but it kind of is. Because they've had chairs and things for a long time, but you've never been able to use them. Go ahead and grab the encrypted nav data there. Get the nanites going. Exosuit upgrades! All right. Um, actually, I want to get a technology upgrade before anything else. Now that I know that I can swap that. Life form waits behind their terminal. They look me up and down and seem to decide I'm not a customer. They do not look particularly helpful. Ask about other travelers. Life form looks at me with alarm before waving me away. Okay. Hey, let's uh, go actually give ourselves an appearance. Um, because that's something that we haven't really done yet. Oh, wait. I want to be a traveler. I want to be a traveler. There we go. Head. I like this robot head. I also like that one. That's a good amount of cool faces though. There's also new eyes. <coughs> Which I don't think you could change before. So... I don't think anyway. It is really cool though. I do like this. And wow. Can make my eyes I can change the color of my eyes. Cool. Um brown kinda looks good. That looks real interesting. Pink might be a bit much. Let's go with the brown. The brown with the red eyes here. I like that. And always pick a pink outfit. Always wearing pink. Got to wear pink. And then the armor. Usually grab this one. I do like that gold, though. That golden... Silver is nice, too. That looks good. Love style. Sure. can do the pink on that. The legs. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I'm doing too much pink. <laughs> nah, you can't have too much pink. I do like the idea of that being gold. And I guess this can just be... Well, let's make that silver. And this could just be silver too. And the backpack... Can be... Purpley. Accent color. Oh, markings. Oh, interesting. Okay. Sure. And a banner now? 
This is new. I don't know what this is changing though. I'm not seeing anything change on me. Or maybe it really is just this banner. Maybe that's what is changing. Yeah, okay, it's not a physical thing. It's the banner. I don't know what the banner is, but I'm going to go with Gek because I love the Gek. There we go. That looks good. Hold A to change camera view. I don't know. I can rotate it using the scroll wheel. Well, the A just seems to focus on the front. Anyway, um, I think that looks good. Maybe the pink is a little much, though. I just, I really would prefer. To have something like that. Nah, I think that's fine. All right. So now we have our own unique, or at least as unique as possible for, you know, this game. Our own unique appearance. Neat. Dog camera view. All right. So let's head on this ride. Let's head over to this side so that we can talk to more aliens on this side. Maybe one of them will know about 16. Explore noon. The life form chatters away, assessing me with beady, inquisitive eyes. When I blink, I see that same red light that stared me stared at me in at the distress beacon. Pete 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left to you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. Crimson light. Like to play next. Stop. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Yay! Visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship. Visit the cartographer to her direction to outpost. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable. <laughs> Use the teleport into... Okay. Those are broken. Uh, those are not completed sentences. That's funny. Alright. Hello, mission agent. What Gek jobs do you have for me? Nothing, it seems. Life form gestures apologetically. Their exact meaning is unclear, but it's apparent that there is no work for me here. Well, fine. I want Raisy to leave you the teleport terminus to return to your base. Alright. Um, before that, let me double check a couple of other spots on the station. And see if I can't just collect some things. Um, sometimes you can find deuterium in the plants. It's the only actual source of deuterium in the whole game. Because the deuterium plants give you a jetpack upgrade. I've never figured out how it works. Hey look, these guys walk around now. I'm certain that I've seen the strange life form watching me, tracking my movements. They glance up at me innocently enough. Practice language skills. Offer a gift. Practice language skills. Interesting. That's new. Director Evaderg instantly produces a data pad so they have prepared for this moment. They present a selection of symbols, each representing a type of gek word I might learn. Hmm. Friendship symbol. Teaches me a word of their language. Learn the gek word for help. 
Okay, that's cool. I can like slowly learn what I want. As I approach the gek, I become aware of a thin mist surrounding them. It is light, lightly, almost pleasantly scented. Nonetheless, I cannot help but feel a deep apprehension. He instantly produces another data pad. Um, friendship symbols. Let's just learn all of the friendship stuff. Major is clicking their beak and drilling slightly. Just before the drop breaks, they somehow manage to snort it back to their nasal holes. Quest more dialogue help. And another data pad where I get to pick another thing. Ooh, these are new. Um, trade symbol. Neat. Got the word for trade. Now can I practice my dialogue? Nods he nods encouragingly. Delighted by this interspecies transaction, I recall some of the Gek words I have learned. Gek. Regards me silently. They seem suspicious of my knowledge of Gek word. Okay. Um. Trade. Seems to interpret my language as a demand. They shake their head, disapproving. <laughs> Interesting. All right, that's a whole new thing then. Encrypted nav data, another encrypted nav data. That's nothing. Journey milestone. I learned five words. Neat. What are you? Cartographer. This is a cartographer. Surrounded by charts, coordinate lists, and hand-drawn sketches. They bubble excitedly, keen to share their data hoard. Rendon Maps. Trade. Um, purchase a map. Ask for help. Exchange maps. One nav data. He enters my nav data to their log. They hand me a chart to a new location of interest. Ready to be mapped and added to their database. And I have a planetary chart. Plot route. And it's mission tower detected. What planet is that on? On planet. Oh, we'll find out. Let's head over to the Rakini base again. And we'll probably go ahead and end things off here. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any of the episodes you might have missed. And with that, I will see you guys next time. See you later. Whoa. <laughs> um, my ship is inside of my base. Yep. That's a thing. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you later.